In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The five joyful mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary. The first mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now to the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery, the Nativity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, 
and after this her exile she won to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin. O most sacred heart of Jesus. Saint Comgall, Saint Magnese, Saint Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Good morning, everyone. So let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgives our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us to pass from the former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Daniel. Susanna was condemned to death by the whole assembly. She cried out as loud as she could, Eternal God, you know all secrets and everything before it happens. You know that they have given false evidence against me. And now I have to die, innocent as I am of everything their malice has invented against me. The Lord heard her cry, and as she was being led away to die, he roused the Holy Spirit residing in a young man named Daniel, who began to shout, I am innocent of this woman's death. At which all the people turned to him and asked, What do you mean by these words? Standing in the middle of the crowd, he replied, Are you so stupid, sons of Israel, as to condemn a daughter of Israel unheard, and without troubling to find out the truth? Go back to the scene of the trial. These men have given false evidence against her. All the people hurried back, and the elders said to Daniel, Come and sit with us, and tell us what you mean since God has given you the gifts that elders have. Daniel said, Keep the men well apart from each other, for I want to question them. When the men had separated, Daniel had one of them brought to him. You have grown old in wickedness, he said, and are the sins of your earlier days have overtaken you. You with your unjust judgments, your condemnation of the innocent, your acquittal of guilty men, when the Lord has said, you must not put the innocent and the just to death. Now then, since you saw her so clearly, tell me what tree you saw them lying under. He replied, under a mastic tree. Daniel said, true enough, your lie recoils on your own head. The angel of God has already received your sentence from him and will slash you in half. He dismissed the man ordered the other to be brought, and said to him, Spawn of Canaan, not of Judah, beauty has seduced you, lust has led your heart astray. This is how you have been behaving with the daughters of Israel, and they were too frightened to resist. But here is the daughter of Judah, who could not stomach your wickedness. Now then, tell me what tree you surprised them under. He replied, Under an own oak. Daniel said, True enough, your lie recalls on your own head. The angel of God is waiting with a sword to drive home and split you and destroy the pair of you. Then the whole assembly shouted, Blessings God, the saver of those who trust in him. And they turned on the two elders whom Daniel had convicted of false evidence out of their own mouths. As prescribed in the law of Moses, they sentenced them to the same punishment as they had intended to inflict on their neighbour. They put them to death. The life of an innocent woman was spared that day. 
the word of the Lord. Response, if I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. He guides me along the right path, he is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff, with these you give me comfort. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil, my cup is overflowing. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. Please stand to greet the gospel. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the word of God. Now is the favourable time, this is the day of salvation. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the word of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. At daybreak he appeared in the temple again, and as all the people came to him, he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and Pharisees brought a woman, along who had been caught committing adultery, and making her stand there in full view of everybody, they said to Jesus, Master, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery, and Moses has ordered us in the law to condemn women like this to death by stoning. What have you to say? They asked him this as a test, looking for something to use against him. But Jesus bent down and started writing on the ground with his finger. As they persisted with their question, he looked up and said, If there is one of you who has not sinned, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Then he bent down and wrote on the ground again. When they heard this, they went away one by one, beginning with the eldest, until Jesus was left alone with the women, who remained standing there. He looked up and said, Women, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she replied. Neither do I condemn you, said Jesus. Go away and don't sin anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. So in today's Gospel reading, Jesus is often moved by compassion. And compassion is also the language of God. And Jesus' response to the scribes and Pharisees challenges us to reflect on our attitudes and actions in dealing with our brothers and sisters who are less fortunate, weak, poor, or marginalized in the society. And this prompts us to reflect on how we can embody compassion in our daily lives serving as beacons, guiding us away from judgmental mindset. Rather than casting stones of condemnation, we are encouraged to show empathy, understanding, and extend hands of mercy and compassion. Pope Francis said in one of his speeches, compassion allows you to see reality. Compassion is like the lens of the heart. It allows us to take in and understand the true dimensions. So in this Lenten season, Jesus invites us to empower compassion, recognizing that only with a compassionate heart we can transform and give life to others.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you as the fruit of bodily penance a joyful purity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as we thought and we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, your host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered in one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit be for us to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. How mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall be my Lord. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
We stand for the final blessing. <clears throat> Let us pray. Strengthened by the blessing of your sacraments, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our faults, and by following Christ, hasten our steps upward toward you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail glorious Saint Patrick, dear Saint of our Isle, on us thy poor children bestow a sweet smile. And now thou art high in thy mansions above, green valleys look down in my love on Aaron's green valleys on Aaron's green valleys on Aaron's green valleys look down in my love hail glorious Saint Patrick thy word Words were.